Hey everyone, it's Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video, I'm gonna see if AI can steal my style, my design style. More specifically, I'm gonna go into Mid Journey and try out some of their different prompts to see if it can copy my style. Now, my style is pretty easy style. It's this one right here. You can see my designs. I've done these in some videos before in Shirttober. I know I'm using a lot of AI currently, but I do have a design style. One of the more popular ones that you might have seen is this one right here that I have on my video. I drew that by hand. So I'm going to use that design uh, in Mid Journey and see if Mid Journey can copy it exactly or get really close to it. See how close Mid Journey can get to copying my style or stealing my style. Now this is important because uh, we want to know if copycats or other people using AI can copy the exact style and just by using AI currently. So. Uh, I think Mid Journey has probably the best tools to do this. So I'm going to go into Mid Journey right now and show you some of the different things that it has that you could use to try and copy my style or somebody else's style, but we're going to use mine. So attempt one, I'm going to do three attempts on it and each one's going to get more and more uh, technical. So first one, of course, you can come in here and just kind of describe what your design is. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do uh, imagine right here and then I'm going to describe my corgi right this one right here so uh, first I'm going to do vector art because I want to make sure that it just does it easy and then I'm going to do uh, vector illustration I think that might help with black outlines and that's because my my design has black outlines on it and then I'm going to do uh, corgi oh let's do make sure that it's a kawaii kawaii art right and I'm gonna do a corgi, maybe a cute corgi uh, eating ramen. And I'm not gonna try and put the circle behind it and, and uh, the Japanese text and all of that. We'll just try and do the, the art, see if it can match the art. Uh, and then on a, I'm gonna just put it on a red background. All right, so the first way, of course, describe it as best as you can to the AI, in this case, to mid journey and we'll see if it can it can copy it. So I'm gonna hit enter and we're gonna see uh, what it comes up with. Now this may take a little bit longer so I'm gonna fast forward to the part where it shows me the designs. All right, so here we are, mid journey finished up and it did pretty good. So I'm gonna zoom in here and it's not exactly my style but this one's pretty close. I forgot to add some things that I probably could add to the prompt. Now the corgi in my design has its eyes closed so I could, I could do that and I could also say that it's holding the chopsticks in its right hand. I could say it's um, behind the bowl, those kinds of things. So you can see it's putting it inside the bowl for some reason, I didn't I didn't say to put it inside the bowl, but um, for the most part, it does a pretty good job. And I like this one right here. And I could click on this and do variations of this and see how close it gets as well, right? So I can come in here. So I could do variation on four and it'll probably give me four that are pretty close and then I could pick something like it. Now Mid Journey has another prompt that you can use to get something even closer or hopefully get even closer and that is the describe prompt. So that's gonna be in my attempt to, I'm gonna use the describe prompt. All right, so uh, if you are in Mid Journey, you might use the describe prompt. Now what you can do is you can actually take a photo or whatever from the internet, uh, your design and put it on here and it will describe it in text. So let me show you exactly what it means. So first of all, I'm gonna to go to T Public right here. This is my shop. Uh, these are my designs. And here's the one, the Corgi that's on my wall. So I'm gonna screenshot this. I'm gonna do Command Shift 4. And I'm gonna just take a screenshot here. Boom. And so now I have it. I have it on my desktop. I'll pull it up here in a second once it saves it. Here it is. There's a screenshot that I took. And I'm gonna load this into Mid Journey. Yeah. So I'm gonna type in this right here, describe, you can see, uh, writes a prompt based on your image. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna drag in that image here, boom. And then I'm just gonna hit enter. And then it's gonna give me four options to, well, it's gonna look at it first, and then it's gonna give me four options. You can see right here, there are the four different options that it wrote for me. And you can actually imagine all of these. So I'm gonna hit all of these and see which one of these actually got close to that. So let's hit that. And while it's doing it, we can read some of these things. Well, okay. Um, you can see Corgi sitting in a bowl of ramen. Um, it looks like he's sitting in it, I guess, but he's actually on the backside of it. 
um, Japanese dog with udon noodles. Oh, it, it's starting to do it already. So they're gonna take a little while. So we'll see which one got the closest. All right, so they're all done right now and well, let's take a look at them. So first this one. So it actually drew it, I think, better than my style, but it's not matching my style, right? So uh, this is really cool. I don't know why they put the dog inside of the bowl, but this one's really cute. Um, let's see what else. So that's not my style, but nice. This one, wow, it's amazing. And again, really cool style, not my style, but um, really neat, right? The dog uh, in the bowl there. Let's see this one. Probably the closest to my style, but then again, still too much detail. I love the um, what it's done though. Some of this intricate detail on the bowl, really cool, really, really cool. And this one is actually almost doing a cat. Yeah, then I think it decided that that's a cat because I didn't say it was a corgi. So actually my uh, design, I think, uh, my my vector art thing this one actually got closer like this is actually closer to my style than dragging in the design and having mid journey come up with the idea right of the style so again cool cool stuff that it did i mean the artwork is amazing but it doesn't actually match my style or steal my style we're going to try another thing that mid journey has and that is style they have a new prompt that you can tune it and try and match your style exactly. And that's gonna be my attempt three. All right, so back on mid journey here, I'm gonna show you the prompt. Um, first it's slash tune. So you can see right here, let's read it. Create a shareable style tuner based on a prompt. So you know in mid journey you can do dash dash style and then it has a different style. You can see right here dash dash AR, which is aspect ratio. It has a lot of these that it can kind of fine tune your stuff. So that's what this is gonna do tune so let me show you what happens you hit tune and then asking for a prompt so it's going to first do something with the prompt and then it's going to ask you um, different questions so we're not going to use any of these prompts right here because these didn't match i could use this prompt right here right vector art because that got me the closest but another way you could do it is to go to mid journey the mid journey feed so we're going to go there now so this is mid journey um, the feed it has a, a lot of cool stuff and you may have noticed this search prompt so I can come in here and actually do kawaii uh, corgi and see if anybody has done a design of a corgi that's close to my style so let's take a look here I think that one's really close that one's really close this one's really close except for the ears I think I like that one the best and we can scroll down here and and just look at a bunch of different ones, right? And once you find one that you think is close to the style, I'm gonna just pick this one right here. Wait, where is it? This one, I can copy this right here. So I can um, do like this and copy, or there's a copy beneath me here. So you can see copy prompt. I'm gonna do that, copy prompt and move myself back. And then we're gonna go back into Discord and we're gonna use that prompt in the tune. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down, hit this, command V, and so their prompt was really simple, Kawaii Corgi cat icon. I, I actually don't like cat icon, but that's okay. Traditional animation, hand-drawn animation. So I could use that, uh, which is really simple, or I could do a combination of this one too, which got me really close to that uh, either way. So I'm gonna just use this first to see how close, so, so you can see how it works. So let's do this. And then it says create a style tuner. So now I can do different styles. So by default, it has 32 style directions. Um, you can go up to 128 style directions. We're gonna do the default. Now, of course, 64, you'll see what this means. Um, 32 is just gonna show you 32 different styles. You're gonna pick uh, out of those 32 different styles, which one is the closest to what you're looking for, and it will kind of create the style after that. So let's do 32. You can do default mode or raw mode, honestly. I think default mode is close enough. So let's do that. Um, I'll hit submit and it's gonna use some credits. It's gonna ask me, do you really wanna use these credits? And I'm gonna say yes. So what it's doing in the background, instead of creating one of these things right here like this, it's actually creating 64 of these based on that prompt and doing different styles, different styles. So you're gonna see 64 of them um, or 32 style directions, it's actually gonna do 64 so you can pick. 
and then um, we're gonna see how close we can get with this style. And it's gonna actually give you a dash dash style at the end of it, and we'll see how well that works compared to our stuff. So, um, dial tuner ready, and we're gonna click this. It's gonna open a different window. Here we are, and you can see, um, because I picked 32, it's giving me this many. So we're gonna go down and pick one. So here's the directions. Um, compare the two styles, pick your favorite from the grid, just click on it. Um, and you don't have to pick any of it if none of them matches. So uh, you could skip all other rows too. So let's do this. Um, between this one and this one, which is closer to my style, I believe it's this one. Uh, between this one and this one, which is closer to my style. Oh, that's interesting. This one has the black outlines, but I like this style better. So um, I'm going to pick this one. Uh, between these two styles, which is closest to my style, I actually think none of them are. Uh, so I'm not going to pick any of these. And between these two, this is too much and this is too little. So I'm not going to pick those. Uh, this is too much. So I'm going to pick this one and we can go down over and over. So I'm going to speed through this one and you'll see um, what I did. All right, so I got to the end of this. You can see I, out of the 32 questions, you see 64 that they did, but out of the 32, uh, I only did 12. 12 of them match my style. Not all of them match my style. Now, of course, you could have done this with uh, 32 or 64 or 128 and just kind of fine tune it even more, but we're going to try this default version. And so right here, your code is that, or you can go right here, I'm gonna move myself here, and you can see that style right there. That's what we want. So I'm gonna copy this right here, and I move myself back down, and we're gonna go back and see what happens. So let's go here, and I'm gonna do imagine again, and place that in. So now we have that style right here, right? So I'm gonna copy that to Command C, and we're gonna use it again um, with the first prompt that I did. So let's do this and see what comes up. So you can test this out and then test it out with other things. So this one's doing a kawaii corgi cat icon, the same one that we did. Um, and let's see what happens. That's pretty good. I love the um, black outlines, right? And it's corgi and it's pretty solid color, um, maybe some shading, that's kind of what I do. Uh, and it's, this one has its eyes closed, so that's, uh, that's good. So we're gonna try it with the prompt that I did, the first prompt with this style. So let's go all the way back up, um, this one that I did right here. I'm gonna copy this, which got me really close, and come back down here and do imagine. And then I'm gonna put that post in, and then I'm gonna do dash dash. Well, actually I should just copy this whole thing, this style, right? And one of the things that I forgot to do the first time is say that it's, uh, outside of the behind the bowl with its eyes closed holding chopsticks in its right hand. So I'm going to add that into cute corgi eating ramen uh, with its eyes closed, sitting behind the bowl, facing forward, and what else? Holding chopsticks with its right hand. Okay, so now that it's all in, let me hit enter and we'll see how close it gets. Okay, now that mid journey's done, let's see how good it got. And I guess this one's closer, but I, honestly, I think the one that I did the first time got closer than this one. Um, so the nice thing about style is you don't have to put some of those style prompts inside of it. So let's try and make it a little cleaner. And I'm just gonna do this part, right? We did Kawaii Corgi Cat Icon traditional animation. Let's copy that. Actually, let's copy this whole thing since that's what got us close. And then I'm just gonna do Corgi Eating Ramen. So a very last attempt, let's see what it did. It's actually cute, but it doesn't match my style. This one's, this one's kind of cute right here. So you can see even Mid Journey can't just take the design that I have, putting it in and copying my style exactly. It didn't get an exact prompt. So there you go, that's my attempt of trying to use Mid Journey or AI to steal my style. You can see it didn't really do a great job. I, I did some amazing artwork, but it didn't actually steal this design. So as of right now, I think Mid Journey can actually do those kinds of things if you're worried about that. Now it may get better and better in the future, but as of right now, it doesn't do that. At least I don't know how to use it. If you know how to um, do more prompts, um, there's tons of prompts in Mid Journey. Le leave a comment down there. Maybe there's some other prompts that I need to do or, or use. 
Um, I know there's lots of other things, but uh, thanks again for watching. Hopefully this video is really helpful for you, at least to learn AI. Uh, some of these different techniques I think can help you get some really good designs. If you want to see another video about mid journey, I'll put my latest one right here so you can see some other ones. I also have videos for things like chat GPT and other AI stuff. I have a whole playlist of AI stuff. Thanks again for watching guys. Hopefully this was really helpful. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.